real quick, you guys, um, my video got cut off, so I'm gonna make it quick. If you hear anybody telling you that due to their false prophecies and their false doctrines, that they're making excuses by saying they made a mistake or an error, and they don't want you to point out their error, don't listen to them because you have to point it out. You have to try to correct them in private twice with two witnesses. If they don't listen and take it to the Lord in prayer, you warn the church the third time. Don't be afraid to speak out against these um, false prophets, teachers, leaders. Don't be afraid. It says in the scriptures we are not to fear these people. Don't be afraid of these people, okay? Because God did not send them. Deuteronomy chapter 18 is very clear. person prophesied one time falsely, their false prophet, the Lord never sent them. These false prophets are continuing to post visions and dreams when they've had failed prophecies. Okay? They're refusing to hearken unto the words of, the, of God. In other words, they've been warned by few bold soldiers already. Okay? They're refusing to hearken unto those words, to heed those messages, meaning to listen, take it to the Lord in prayer, and ask God if what they hear or see is true. They refuse to do that. So, they're going to notice escalated attacks. Demonic attacks could be physical manifestations, and it could also be in their dreams. They might have these weird dreams that someone's cutting them, doing occultic stuff, biting them, um, or doing something harmful to them. Not that I'm wishing it, but those are demonic attacks. In your dreams, the demons can appear as your loved ones, your friend, whoever that they want to appear as. Your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife, okay? Those attacks will increase. The other attacks that can also and will manifest, it could be through your marriage, through your finances, through your job, friends, family, okay? Um, I'm not wishing this on you. This is just a fact, okay? Think about the story with Moses when the um, Pharaoh hearkened, hardened his heart, didn't talk to God to find out if what Moses, the warnings Moses was given was true. Moses kept sending plague, you know, God kept sending plague after plague after plague to Moses. And... Mo the Pharaoh's life was shortened, okay, because he hardened his heart again when he said he would let the Israelites go, and he ended up dying when um the I think it was the Red Sea was um when after Moses crossed the sea the Red Sea with the Israelites, then the Lord let the sea go and the Pharaoh and all of his great armies chariot perished. So with that being said, if these people refuse to repent to God, and I mean sincerely. Confess the sin, repent, and show it through their actions not to do it again. These attacks will increase, and they will continue to increase the more they rebel against God until the time that their lives will be shortened. And if they're not right with God at that time, they're going to die a false prophet's death, as it says in Deuteronomy chapter. Um, Deuteronomy is all over scripture, I think it's 28, but it's all over scripture. And if they're not right with God at that time, they're going to end up in hell. And that's a fact, it's in the scriptures. You don't have to like what you hear. Because I don't serve you, I serve God, although I love all the saints. Okay? Now, a sin is a sin, guys, no matter how big or small. If anybody tells you that, um, you know, they, okay, they committed a sin, or they say they falsely prophesied, because that's what we're hearing now. They're using excuses like, I made a mistake, don't point out my error, I'm, an, I'm a human being. That's the devil speaking. Okay? A sin is a sin. In God's eyes, Mistake is not an excuse. That doesn't cut it. A sin is a sin. You knew what you were doing. You were warned. That's why God sends people to you, true bow soldiers, to warn you. And then you have to take that message to the Lord in prayer and ask Him if it's true. It's just that you're refusing to listen because of your pride. And these deceptive spirits do that. Okay? A sin is a sin in God's eyes. If you commit a sin, big or small, anything can land you in hell. It's in the scriptures. Read the scriptures. It will show you what sins the Lord absolutely detests, which is any sin. Okay, so if anybody says, well, I okay, I falsely prophesied, I made a mistake. Oh, well. And I don't mean to sound cold, but in the, in the eyes of God, that's not an excuse. You committed a sin. You have to repent. Confess, repent, and, and prove yourself that you changed through your actions. Okay? Don't listen to these people that tell you this because that's the devil speaking. Okay, that's not an acceptable excuse to God. You have to repent. In other words, stop falsely prophesying. Stop teaching false doctrines. Stop leading um, so many astray, causing them to stumble on their walk. You know, 
Make an apology video on YouTube. Be man or woman about it for those you caused to fall astray. And don't do it again. And just prove it through your actions. And then if you do that and you truly repent and don't do it no more and prove it through your actions, God is there to forgive you and bless you. And really use you. Okay? But these false prophets, teachers, and leaders are still continuing to prophesy false visions, dreams, and words. Deuteronomy chapter 18 is very clear. If a prophet prophesies one time falsely, the Lord never sent them. They are prophesying after their own evil hearts. With their lying tongues. And they are hoping for false hope, or they are hoping for, for a confirmation from their followers. And this is how, and then these individuals like to be praised, idolized, and so forth. Stay away from these individuals because obviously they refuse to repent. And the scriptures are very clear we are not to fellowship with them. If they refuse to repent and change their ways and get right with God, we can't fellowship with them. Okay? So I just wanted to point that out there. Be blessed, all. And remember, a sin is a sin. We're all sinners and we must repent. You cannot commit sin willingly per Hebrews 10.26. If it's a willful sin, there's no sacrificial blood left to wash that sin away. Be blessed.